Hello, I'm Gabriel here and a happy summer to you all. I pray that you are all doing very well. Now, what does it really mean when you say that you are content? Does it mean that you have every single thing that you need? It is interesting that when David talks about being content in relation to Psalms 62, he's not talking about what he has, but he's talking about who he has. You see, he understands that because he's a human being growing, his aspirations and wants in life would grow with him. And so though he may be content with all the things he have today, tomorrow there might be things that he wants to aspire to. And because he wants to aspire to, his desires will grow. And so he has figured out that the secret is not to rely and be content with what we have, but to have his self bonded with God enough that he finds his contentment in the very fact that he has a relationship, a worthy relationship with God. And so he shares in Psalm 62 verse 5, uh, to aid that for God alone my soul waits in silence. What it means here is when in moments that he doubts and in moments that he is awaiting answers and questions, he asks questions and these things are flowing up for him. His soul, because he has a relationship with God, a worthy relationship, can wait in silence. Why? For his hope comes from him. He alone, referring to God, is his rock and his salvation, his fortress that is, will help him not to be shaken. On God's rest, his deliverance and his honor. God is his mighty rock and his refuge. And verse 8 is what he says. He says, trust in God at all times. Oh, people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us all. You see, David is content with the very fact that he has built a worthy relationship with God. And he's saying because of this, it doesn't matter that his aspiration, his goals, his desires, everything will grow. He's got a worthy God that grows together with him. He's got a loving God who lifts him up. When he's about to go down, he's got a God upon him, upon who he can wait and, and, and trust upon. Well, this day, on this Sabbath day, as you and I are ushering ourselves into that moment of rest, this God is inviting you and I to bond together with him, to build a worthy relationship where we can share the same words like David and says, from God alone comes our stronghold. He is the refuge upon where we find the rock of our salvation that we can rely on peacefully and wait patiently in silence upon for the answers that we need in our lives. God bless you all and have a wonderful Sabbath.